But I'm going to go through the commandments to help you make a good examination of conscience so you can make a good confession. And I'm going to promise you something. Uh, if you will do so, now it's, maybe it's only been a month since your last confession. Uh, maybe it's been 30 or 40 years. Whatever the case may be, you will be happy when you go to confession. Oh, I know. It can be a little bit intimidating. Oh, I don't like to do it. What's he going to think of me? Let me tell you something. The priest is not going to think anything bad about you. He's heard it all. All priests have heard it all. Don't think your sins are worse than everybody else's. Uh, believe me, your sins are just as mundane, just as bad or not so bad as everybody else. So don't worry. Remember that in the person of Christ, the priest ministers, who are you confessing your sins to? Jesus. How are you doing that? By confessing in the context of confession, the sacrament, to the ministerial priest who stands in the person of Jesus Christ. It's so important. speaking, to miss Mass without a good reason on Sundays and holy days of obligation is a mortal sin, a serious sin. That will extinguish grace in the soul, separate your relationship with God, sever it. And you know the difference, of course, between a mortal sin and a venial sin? Very quickly. Number one, grave matter. This is grave matter. To miss Mass on Sundays or Holy Days of Obligation without a good reason, that's grave matter. Secondly, you have to have knowledge of that. If you didn't have knowledge before, now you do. Gotcha. Third, you have to give full consent of the will in the light of that knowledge. When those three elements are simultaneously in place, you have a mortal sin subjectively imputed if you don't have mitigating circumstances.